part of this music program includes our Dolby Atmos Music Accelerator program, which Ella was a part of and Reggie was a part of our uh, recording sessions that we had on the bus. At the Dolby Institute, we've been working to empower artists and give them resources so that they can start to create music in Dolby Atmos. And we've been helping these artists create their first songs in Dolby Atmos. Listening to it all around me made me feel like I was listening like I was almost like whispering in my ear, like telling myself what I needed to hear. So it just gave me more ideas for the music video and the scene and the place that I want to play it at. Dolby allows, as an artist, for me to give my listeners a new experience. I think that when I heard it on the bus, it was really cool to hear all these sounds in different places. And it just becomes like this super experiential experience. And I really love that. As technology has evolved, the Lennon bus has evolved. We put in a Dolby 7.1.4 Atmos mixing studio, did our very first Atmos mixes of this beautiful new project. I've been mixing in stereo for many, many years, you know, 15, 20 years. And now all of a sudden we got the ability actually to have the whole room, have the whole space available for us. The Dolby Atmos mix, now you had a full sense of being able to just really put things where you wanted. To have a cello behind you, or to have the clocks over here, or to have the brass here, or to put the bass right in your face or underneath your feet. Dolby Atmos gave us that power. We did it 10 days, which probably would take most people 30 days. For us to have something so unique and special with such a legend, behind the wheel on it in our first mixes in this new Dolby Atmos environment. It was a dream come true.